Welcome back to the good old boys channel. So this is my 2019 Hawk 250 and this is kind of going to be an update to the uh, best Hawk 250 gearing video. I think I found the perfect gearing combination at least for me but uh, I think this gearing would fit a lot of um, riders needs. So anyways we'll start out with the bike. This is a 2019 Hawk 250. At this point I have 2500 miles on the bike i just put brand new front and rear sprocket as well as a brand new x-ring chain and i put that stuff on at like 2100 miles so just wanted to mention that real quick all right now let's get to the actual gearing of the bike so what i have here is a 16 tooth on the front 42 tooth on the rear like i said it's got practically new o-ring chain on it or x-ring chain i guess so I just want to talk about the benefits of the different sprocket sizes that I have as well as the benefit of the chain. Everybody obviously knows that an O-ring chain is really good. This happens to be an X-ring chain, so it's even better. I'll throw a quick little video up of what this chain is. I did have to shorten it by three links. Not a big deal. This is what I have here. I bought it off Amazon. I'll leave you guys a link in the description box below. It's an X-ring drive chain, heavy duty. Maximum durability, it's what I like to see. So that's the chain. I do want to talk about the front sprocket. So like I said, this is a 16 tooth front sprocket. Before I would just switch between the 15 tooth and the 17 tooth. I would put the 17 tooth on for road riding if I was gonna be road riding a lot. I ran the 15 tooth uh, front sprocket on road quite a bit just because every time I hit the pavement, I'm also hitting the dirt. There's never a time where I go out and just ride the road. So the 15 tooth made sense to, to keep on there. However, um, it was a little bit too slow for the road. And to be honest, the 16 tooth is honestly kind of a bit slow for the road as well, but you can at least cruise at 55 um, with the 16 tooth on the front. One other thing I want to mention about the uh, 16 tooth, why it is um, a huge upgrade over the 15 tooth. And that is because it doesn't skip nearly as much. If you guys have been watching my videos, you all know that the chain skips really bad and it doesn't matter how tight you have it on the bike. Um, on the 15 tooth front sprocket, it just likes to skip for some reason. When I first put this setup on here, brand new rear sprocket, brand new chain, brand new 15 tooth front sprocket, it was skipping like you wouldn't believe. So it doesn't matter how new or how old or anything, doesn't matter. If you have a 15 tooth sprocket on the front, it's going to skip. So I put the 16 tooth on there and it skips a whole lot less. So that's why I like the 16 tooth a lot better. Plus the 16 tooth is a good combination for off-road and on-road for gearing. Moving on to this back sprocket here. This is the 42 tooth rear sprocket. Um, I really like the 42 tooth rear sprocket. I've had a 40 on here before and of course the stock 50 tooth rear sprocket. And the 40 tooth rear sprocket, it just, the gearing was too tall. Um, the bike was kind of underpowered. I don't know, I just, I like the 42 tooth a lot better. We'll say that. So there you have it. That's what I'm running for gearing now at 2,500 miles. I am really, really liking the 16 tooth sprocket. Like I said, I've actually had it on there for a couple hundred miles already and tested it. It's got really good on-road capability as well as off-road capability. So, and really, in all honesty, like I said, that's what I do. It's about 50-50 on and off-road, and I'm riding country roads. Uh, so, you know, 50 or 55 is all I need to do on this bike anyways. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this little bit of an update on Hawk 250. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out that description box below, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Woo! It's all about humanity.